Hey Tuners, I am super excited to see all of you. Last night on the Toon Ladies Talk Show, we talked all about webcomic cosplay and I wanted to jump on and ask you some questions. I wanted to talk a little bit about some upcoming things, so I'm excited for all of you to join me. Uh, today I want to talk about webcomic cosplay. So you guys know we dressed up last night on the Toon Ladies Talk Show. If you guys did not see it, youtube.com slash Toon Ladies. You can check out the full episode. We hung out with three amazing cosplayers last night, uh, and one of which happens to be an owner of a costume rental company uh, where you can, it's kind of like Airbnb or Rent the Runway, uh, and you can swap costumes with cosplayers, like really cool things, make some money off of yours as well. Check out the episode if you haven't. And we dressed up for the episode. I actually got to dress up as Karis from Sub-Zero, which was pretty dang fun. Uh, I had a sassy red top on. I had the little gold hair pieces. I may or may not have had a fan with me. So I was very excited about that. I want to know from you, who should I be cosplaying next? Because you know every single Saturday, I drop a brand new Say Hey Saturday, where we take the time to get to know each other by answering a couple of questions on, right here on our Instagram page. And... I accidentally started doing cosplay for that one, and now it just kind of seems like a fun thing. So once a week, I am doing a cosplay from a webcomic character, and I need your suggestions on who I should be dressing up as. So a lot of people jumped in my Instagram stories this week, and they said I should be doing characters like um, the Let's Play characters. <laughs> Uh, Monica. Yeah, Monica was one of the ones I got a lot. I actually, I had some people suggest Let's Play characters, which you guys know Let's Play is like top three for me on uh, Webtoon. Um, and I ran a poll. I said, should I play Sam or should I play Monica? And more people voted for Monica than Sam. I was pretty surprised, which, which is interesting because like, I feel like I could pull off Sam if I tucked my hair up and did a faux bob. Like I could pull off Sam. Um, but I might just have to go get myself a, a longer pink wig. I have a short pink wig, but I, I gotta get myself a fancier pink wig to be Monica or, you know, work some magic. Um, and definitely, I feel like we could pull that off. If you guys did not see um, TM Sharky, we shouted her out earlier this week. She did a gender bent Charles from Let's Play, which is pretty dang cool. I wish I could pull that off. Um, but she did pretty dang good with that. But I need to know who should I be cosplaying? I did get the Let's Play characters a lot. Um, I did get a lot of people saying that I should do, um, I got somebody who said Miss Abbott and the Doctor, which I hadn't heard of before, but I looked up, I'm so freaking in love with that webcomic, like, mm, that, that is good, that is good, that is good, I love it if you guys haven't read it yet, you totally should, um, and if you are a fan of Miss Abbott and the Doctor, please let me know, also, I definitely want to cosplay her, because Caddy's really cool. <laughs> um, but tell me, who else should I be cosplaying over the next couple of weeks? Do I know when the Charles and his perspective episode is coming out? Is it today or is it next week? Um, so I'm on Fast Pass. Fast Pass is, I think, two episodes ahead of you guys. So probably the week after, I want to say. that. So it was last week. However many Fast... No, three, pa three Fast Passes? It might be three. Two or three fast passes. I'll have to check that out for you. I can't get on while I'm on my phone talking to you guys. Um, but for those of us who are paying for the fast pass, that was just this past week. And it was rather interesting. It was a rather interesting episode. So that's all I'm gonna say on that one. But I think it's I think it's two or three weeks for you. Um But you're gonna see some other perspectives along the way as well from some of the other leading men. So we shall see what's going on there. Ravendra, thanks for joining. Uh, TM Sharky is here. We girl, we just shouted out your gender bent Carl, uh, Charles, Charles cosplay this week. Uh, and we're talking about which characters I should be cosplaying for Say Hey Saturday right here on our Instagram page. Speaking of really cool things that are going on, I do want to talk about some of the special guests we have coming up on the Toon Ladies talk show and podcast. Uh, so hey guys, hey, if you're just jumping in, we were talking about last night's cosplay episode of Toon Ladies over on our live broadcast talk show on YouTube, youtube.com slash Toon Ladies. Um... And we're talking about how we dressed up last night. If you guys did not see my sassy version of Karis from Sub-Zero, which is the King Prince's sister, um, the one in the red dress, 
I cosplayed her last night. I will have pictures of that probably for this Say Hey Saturday. We are doing more cosplay. I am doing more cosplay for Say Hey Saturday, so I need your suggestions. I've been getting a lot of uh, Let's Play characters. I got Miss Abbott and the Doctor. I got... Oh, gosh, I'm blanking, but I got I got a couple of uh, really interesting cosplay suggestions, a lot of which I hadn't read yet, or I have not read yet. So I need to know who should I be dressing up as in upcoming Say Hey Saturday cosplay drops. Let me know. Let me know. Um, but I do want to talk about who is coming up on the Toon Ladies talk show in the next couple of weeks and on our podcast. You guys know the talk show and the podcast have completely unique content. Um, so we have different authors and different topics on both of these things. So the live broadcast talk show happens every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And it is so much fun. We've got Loopy Cut from Blood Inc. coming on next week. Now, Loopy and I have been hanging out. We've been chatting behind the scenes. We did uh, record Loopy's podcast episode already. And we've got a really dang cool surprise coming up on Sunday for you guys. If you are fans of Blood Inc., specifically of Proxy in Blood Inc., you are in for a dang treat on Sunday. It's going to be so, so good. Um, so Loopy's coming on on Sunday and then the following week we have, um, I want to say, I'm like peeking at my schedule here. The following week we've got our Canvas authors. So I'm bringing on three Webtoon Canvas authors. I'm really excited for this. It's going to be a lot of fun for me hanging out with, um, Mushmallow who writes defects. We are hanging out with Jenna A, who writes Enjoy the Show, and we are hanging out with Marie Jane Works, who writes The Alley Cat. Uh, and I just started some of these. It's going to be really interesting, and we're going to have a lot of fun with... A, I answered your question before it popped up on my screen. That's pretty good. Um, but we're going to have so much fun with these guys. I've been chatting with these ladies behind the scenes, and like... Ooh, we're going to have fun. We're going to have behind the scenes. All sorts of amazing, cool things. I'm getting suggestions for Kiss Bet characters. Yeah, if you guys did not catch our uh, first talk show episode with Ingrid, who's the author of The Kiss Bet, you totally should go over to YouTube right now, youtube.com slash ladies and watch the episode because it was tons and tons of fun. But it would be fun to cosplay some of those characters from The Kiss Bet. I definitely don't have Sarah Lynn's hair and I don't have wigs for that. I don't even think I can pull it off with a little extra magic. Um, but there are definitely some characters that could be a lot of fun to play from there. Um, and if you guys are fans of gender bent cosplays, I feel like I could probably talk uh, TM Sharky Nerd into doing some of those. Girl, shout out. <laughs> um, we are going to have lots of fun though. Uh, TM told me, is telling me to be poppy. I should be poppy. If I braid my hair, I, <laughs> I could definitely pull off like a 12 year old poppy. For the record, I am much older than I look, but, um, maybe I could do Patrick, a gender bent Patrick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I have to work on that. I'm like, what do I have clothing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I am working on some cool cosplays. Um, you guys are giving me all the suggestions. So please keep dropping suggestions, like lots of them. By the way, if you've got questions for me on Toon Ladies or anything Toon Ladies related, or if you want to talk about my books, cause you guys know I'm a best selling fiction author. Um, we could talk about that too. We could talk about all sorts of things. Drop those questions down below for me. I'll get those answered for you. And I want to keep going on who is coming up on the Toon Ladies show. I'm so excited for this. Once we have our Canvas authors on, uh, I believe, I believe we are going to be, oh gosh, I, I'm like forgetting my schedule right now. This is so bad. I think after our Canvas episode, it's going to be... Easter, I think is what it is. Let me, I'm just taking a look at my calendar right now. Yes, I was right. So right after our Canvas authors, that next Sunday is Easter. Um, so we are going to be taking that week off to celebrate Easter. And then the following week we are coming back. We're going to hang out with Anne and Marissa, who are the authors of The Shadow Prophet. And you guys know, if you follow me in my author life, I'm a huge fan of dystopian books. I write all sorts of dystopian novels. Uh, so I'm really enjoying The Shadow Prophet, and they've got some cool stuff going on over there. I know some behind-the-scenes things are happening. I've seen some really pretty artwork, and I cannot wait to have those ladies on. We're not actually going to be talking to them on the show about The Shadow Prophet, but when they're on our podcast, we're going to be chatting about how it is to work together as a team, uh, because these ladies are kind of tag-teaming what they are doing. So 
interesting things coming on that one. Then the following week, and I am so excited for this one, I'm actually bringing on a dear friend of mine. His name is Philo Barnhart, and he is a Disney animator. In fact, he created Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. But not just that. Also, like, Secret of Nim, Black Cauldron. He worked on a Star Trek movie. He did Ever After. Like, the man has a resume. But most identifiably, he created Ariel, Ursula, Sebastian, Gaston, Lumiere, and, like, most of the Secret of Nim characters. He was actually, he voiced some of the characters in Secret of Nim. And he was in the original Mary Poppins movie. So we're going to have so much fun hanging out with Philo Barnhart. I'm so excited. He has volunteered to teach me how to draw, which I'm so excited for. And so uh, he might just give us some drawing lessons while we are on air. We shall see what happens uh, when we hang out with him live and hear all the behind the scenes stories from the Disney movies we grew up loving. Oh yes, I'm so excited for this one. And then the following week, we're actually going to be hanging out with Miranda Munt. She wrote Muted, which was just featured recently by Webtoon in their nice little banner up the front of that. So we're going to be hanging out with a lot of people. On the podcast, we've got lots of great behind the scenes. We're going to be, this coming week, we're talking about pets in tunes. So we're going to talk about like the horses and the dogs and the like the really cool animals inside of tunes we are going to be chatting with loopy we're going to be chatting with um leanne who is the author of let's play who was on last week on the talk show we're gonna be talking with ingrid who is the author of kiss bet she was on our first show we are going to be chatting with um we just this past week chatted with kayla oliver who is the author of the wolfman of wolvershire so we've got tons and tons of authors hanging out both on the podcast and the talk show and we're doing some really cool epic bonus things as well. So I'm very, very excited for this one. I see the questions, the comments are coming in. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to see what you guys are saying, but please keep dropping those questions and comments down there. Uh, Ravenda wants to know how I'm staying sane during the lockdown. Uh, well, I run my own businesses. I work from home, so nothing has changed for me aside from, uh, people not going out and driving and like nobody being in the stores, which I'm not, I like, I, I've gone out maybe once or twice since all of this started just to get groceries in case there was like a full out lockdown like shelter in place which has not happened yet um but I, I do foresee it coming and so uh, it hasn't really impacted me I'm just busy 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 working away but thank you for checking in I do appreciate it let me know how you're doing friend uh do I watch any type of anime I wish that I could say that I do I wish I could be like that really cool nerdy girl who like knows all these things but I don't I <laughs> I am like slightly far removed from this. I'm, I'm brand new to the tune world uh, and I got into this because I'm an author. So I'm a young adult best-selling author. So if you guys read The Wrath and the Dawn, that was actually a young adult novel that was adapted to become a webtoon. And so I paid attention to that in the book world and I saw that this was a really cool way of storytelling. And I had seen some of like Laura Olympus around, so I started to read that. I thought that was pretty cool. And then I was introduced to the rest of the Toon world, at which point I saw this opportunity to introduce readers to the authors and the artists and help them get seen. And so we started the Toon Ladies talk show and did all the cool fun things. But I am, I am someone that most people don't imagine getting into the web comic world because I just like I'm not aligned with that I've got other stuff that I'm doing it's just kind of seems a little bit more removed from it um but I'm learning and I'm growing and I've like got a list of webtoons that I read frequently multiple things updating every single night so <laughs> it's one of those things where I am kind of learning a little bit about the industry so I'm very much here for the storytelling side of it I do not have the art side of it covered yet but I am learning um but I I don't watch anime but all of my friends do and they keep telling me about it and so like I've got a list of things that I'm supposed to be watching so when I have time when I'm not running six different businesses no lie I do intend to watch some of them just not right this very second uh Philo is fabulous yes he is um oh you love muted oh I'm so excited you just screamed because you love muted and you had no idea that I was interviewing them yeah well I haven't officially announced that one yet <laughs> that is coming May. It's the first Sunday in May. So right after our Disney interview, we're going to be talking with Miranda about Muted. Um, she's going to be on the podcast. I actually have to set up a time to record that with her. 
If you have a topic you would like to see me cover on the podcast with Miranda, take a look at some of my podcast episodes that have come out so you can kind of like know what the topics are, but please feel free to suggest some topics that you would love to see covered on the podcast with her uh, that are kind of connected to her story. So it's not like an interview. It's not like a and a It's like, let's pick a topic inside of it and let's talk about it. So for Leanne, who wrote Let's Play, her topic was all about creating uh, characters that have hobbies inside of tunes. Um, we talked with Loopy from Blood Inc. about using technology to kind of conceal parts of characters from the audience. So that, that kind of thing. If you've got suggestions, I want to hear them because I have not read that comic yet. And I could definitely use some direction. Go ahead and let me know. Uh, you don't know if this is a good question, but can you maybe explain a bit more about the virtual con you posted about? Um, so I can't say too terribly much. I know that everybody's in lockdown right now. I know everybody is bored. I know a bunch of conventions have been canceled, and so I am attempting to orchestrate a virtual convention. It 100% depends on how many authors are willing to get involved, and right now I don't have a ton of them because it was a very fast turnaround time. It was like going to happen pretty soon. So right now I'm kind of reconfiguring what I'm doing and deciding if I want to condense that down to accommodate the authors who do want to be involved or can be involved. A lot of them are unable to because their kids are at home with them and they can't stop to do a convention like this. Um, so the, the options we have here are condensing the con a little bit or just putting it off entirely um, and doing it later on. So I am not giving up on this convention it is still going to happen. The panels, the things we're doing, all gonna happen. It just depends on when it might be pushed off a little bit and this might be given like a new condensed shorter topic um, or we might just pick up the entire thing and move it a couple of months until things calm down a little bit. It is gonna happen. The panels are amazing. And if you are an author, I'm actually not sure. If you're an author, please feel free to DM me. I will send you the secret link with information about it and uh, I will let you know how to be involved in that. Okay. Let's keep going. If you see me looking up, there was a car backing down the road. <laughs> I think they might be in my driveway. I can't really. Oh, nope. There they go. Okay. We're good. <laughs> I was like waiting for a loud knock on my door. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, if you got questions, if you got comments, now is the time to drop them. I'm asking questions right now. Uh, to you guys, I want to know who should I cosplay for my next Say Hey Saturday post. Every single Saturday, I'm dropping three questions I want you guys to answer to help me get to know you better. I answer them too so you can get to know me. Um, but I would love to hear from you. Who should I be cosplaying next? I have cosplayed Persephone. Um, I've done Siren's Lament because you guys, if you see me outside of, of the Toon world, I do own mermaid tales and I hang out with professional mermaids a lot. And I write mermaid books, so it's all good. Um, but I want to know who should I cosplay. I would love your suggestions. Even if I haven't read them, I will totally look them up and do my best to cosplay them because like all kinds of fun there. But drop me some info about which character and what series they're from so I can look them up later. Uh, I, you've probably gotten this request a lot, but you should do the Brass and Sass author. Um, I have a little bit. I have heard a little bit about that. I would love to get as many authors on it as possible. I am having trouble reaching some of the authors because they don't have websites and they don't have email addresses. So if you want to like start tagging them in my posts when I'm putting out calls for things and let them know that you want to see them on the show, that's going to help me to get them on the show. Uh, if you have connections to them. If you're talking to them and you'd be like, hey, I want to see you on this talk show slash podcast, please feel free to connect me. I will use whatever connections you have. I am doing my best to meet new authors. I am getting the authors to introduce me to other authors, but they don't always know the other authors I'm learning. So I might have had something happen this morning that is potentially giving me some more connections. Um, I can't say anything else more than that, but it is a very good connection collaboration-y type thing and I'll keep you updated on that when it comes but for now you can help me out by letting your favorite authors know you want to see them on the show tag them in my posts um, if you're chatting with them and it makes sense to post on their posts or you're DMing them and it makes sense please don't like please don't go harass these people to be on the show that's not a good thing but if it if it has a natural opening and opportunity for you to invite them uh, to or say that you want them to be on the show, please, please, please shout out Toon Ladies. The more you help me build it, the more authors I'm going to get on and the more special events I'm going to do 
for Y O U. All right, let me see. Uh, you're a Canvas author, but you're really small right now, and you only have two episodes. Um, so I definitely, when I'm working with Canvas authors, I am looking for a little bit more when it comes to those episodes. So please keep me in mind. Um, I do want to see a little bit more of a bank of episodes though, just because you're not under contract. So I want to make sure that people are actively posting their stories, that they are developing their following and that they are consistently posting things. So I just need, I, I need a little more in there before I can bring you onto the show, but I definitely, definitely want to be supporting these Canvas authors. Um, so please stay in touch with me, keep me updated on how things are going. And then when you build this up a little bit more, then we can talk about getting you on the show or the podcast. Um, but there are other opportunities for you to get involved with Toon Ladies as well. So if you actually go to toonladies.com slash join the team, you can find out that I am looking for reporters, content creators, marketers. I'm looking for all sorts of fabulous people to volunteer to come hang out with Toon Ladies. And when you do that, you get your name, your face, and your work in front of my fans as well. Plus special bonus opportunities to come meet my authors and my artists and my celebrities and my Disney animators off air, just you and them and me and, and whoever else we have on as a guest that day. And you can talk to them without it being on the talk show. So there's tons and tons of perks for volunteering with me. Check it out. Toonladies.com slash join the team. All right, guys, I'm looking for your recommendations. Who should I cosplay in my next Say Hey Saturday post? Which Webtoon character should I be taking on? Please, please, please give me your best. Tell me their name and what series they are from so I can look them up if I have not read them yet. And let me know, which authors would you love to see on the Toon Ladies talk show and podcast? I need to hear from you. And so do the authors. Start pimping out Toon Ladies. Help a girl out. Help me get these people on the show. And if you kind of hang out with me as a reporter, I'll let you meet them face to face to ask your questions and chat with them with nobody else around. It's going to be fun. Um... The Brass and Sass author is awesome. She recently finished her first season, so I bet a lot of people would want to ask questions. Oh, do we have a fun cliffhanger? Super fun. I love cliffhangers. If you guys have read any of my books, you guys know I wrote like half of these books back here. Um, I love my cliffhanger endings when I am doing a series. So like standalones usually have an end. They do. They have a they have a definite ending in my standalone novels. But in my series, oh, I'm wicked when it comes to cliffhangers. I am a vicious author. Anything you've seen in Webtoons, they got nothing on me being mean to my characters. It's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that sounds like lots of fun. Please, please, please start shouting out Toon Ladies and being like, I would love to see you on this talk show. There's this really great talk show with this girl who chats way too much. You should go hang out with her. That kind of thing. Send her my way. Let her know that you would like to see me. Uh, her, like to, whatever. You know what I meant. Get her on the show. That's what we're going for. Start a petition. Get all of your friends to let them know that you want to see them on Toon Ladies. And I will do my best to make it happen for you guys. Uh, TM says, I am a lady full of surprises. Am I? <laughs> um, you should interview someone. He's not a Webtoon author, but he's a very popular comic author on Instagram. Oh, cool. Well, send him my way. Send him my way. I actually have some people outside of the Webtoon world as well who are... Um, chatting with me about coming on the show and doing some fun things. So lots of fun there. Uh, what are some of my books called and my series? Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, if you go to any of the book buying platforms and you search K M Robinson, so that's K and the initials K dot M dot Robinson, R O B I N S O N. It's in my biography. That'll kick you over to my author Instagram. Um, you will find I've got like 24, 25 books out right now. Uh, the Golden Trilogy is a Goldilocks retelling where she was never naive. She was sent on a mission and dubbed Bear as her new target. Basically, Goldilocks is an assassin sent to destroy the Bear family. Only she falls in love with the youngest Bear brother. And then she has to play both sides. It was the number seven best-selling book on Amazon out of every book in existence. And number one in all of its categories. Actually, all of my books have been number one in their categories. Um, I've also had the number 74 and seven and 87 best-selling book out of every book in existence. So not just young adult, but we're talking like romance. We're talking paranormal. We are talking business books. We're like, we're talking like everything, like every book. Number seven, 74, and 87. 
It's so fun. Uh, I've got the Jada Duology, which is amazing. It's a dystopian. People are calling it the YA dystopian Mr. and Mrs. Smith because you never know who's going to live and who's going to die. Basically, Jade's father started a rebellion when she was a child, and it failed. And in retribution, she now has to marry the commander's son now that she's 18. They're going to make everyone in the community believe that they love her and accept her into the family. They're going to murder her and make it look like an accident to get back at her father. And her only hope is to get her new husband to fall in love with her. <gasps> Shocking. I know, it's so interesting. Um, for those of you who are fans of Sub-Zero and My Dear Cold-Blooded King... I have a brand new book that just came out a week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, it's called Mulan Dragon Shifter. It's a Mulan retelling where she is, shockingly, a dragon shifter. And basically, if Sub-Zero and My Dear Cold-Blooded King had a love child and it was blessed by a retelling's fairy godmother, that would be Mulan Dragon Shifter. It's got love triangles, it's got dragons, it's got shifters, like all sorts of fun, fabulous things. Um, I apologize. There's definitely a piece of dog fur on my face here, and it's, like, poking me in the eye. Um, let's see. What else? I have a Little Miss Muffet hacker retelling. I have a mermaid saga called the Siren Wars Saga. It's humans versus the mermaids versus the sirens in the ultimate war. I have uh, Little Red Riding Hood as a circus aerialist. I have Cinderella as an assassin out to hunt the prince, but don't worry because he's hunting her too. I have steampunk Aladdin. I have uh, a Little Mermaid retelling where a human is tricked into the sea and has to fight to get her legs back. And the sea witch wants to silence her, but not for the reasons you think. And yes, there is a hot mer prince helping her. Um, I've got... I'm, like, looking over my shoulder at my books trying to figure out what else I have. Um, oh, I have a Hansel and Gretel retelling that will rip your heart out and tear it to shreds. Basically, Hansel and Gretel's witch was actually working with them. She was working with them to assassinate the Mad King. She's actually Hansel's girlfriend. And when their plan fails, she ends up taking the fall and history rewrites itself because uh, the villains are now in charge and they call her a witch and they just like destroy her name. But she really, she was there trying to save her people. It's a very interesting story. Uh, let me see. I have a Goose Girl retelling. I've got... I'm, like, literally, like, looking over my shoulder at all these things. I've got... Oh, a Jack Frost dystopian retelling. Dang, that one's good. Um, there's all sorts of fun things. There's there's tons of them. If you go over to my, my author page on Amazon or iBooks or Barnes & Noble, you can find all of my books. And I've got five free ebooks out right now. So if you guys are in lockdown and you want something to read... Five free novels for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> if you want the links to those, DM me later. I'll send them to you. Um, who's my favorite? Let's play character. I love Sam. I love Sam. Um, but if we're talking specifically about love interests, Team Charles. I am 100% Team Charles. Like, whoo, yes, no. I am loving what's happening right now. I'm very, very excited for this one. Um... But let me know, who are your favorite Let's Play characters? Who do you love the most? That's it. <laughs> it's like, let me, let's just keep talking about this. No, I'm sorry. My hair is so staticky right now. I'm like trying to get it to calm down as we talk. And I know it's a lot. Sorry, I'm trying to like put water in it. But let me know, who are your favorite Let's Play characters? Uh, what, what series should I be reading? I almost said books. I'm like, this is not my author platform. This is my tune platform. What series should I be reading? Someone just introduced me to Miss Abbott and the Doctor. Holy crow, guys. I'm addicted. It is so good. It's with Webtoon lines, so it's like legitimately just sketches, but like I love it so much. So good. So good. Um, do you ship Link and the oh that you're talking about, Angela? <laughs> we gotta work on your names, girl. Um, do I ship Link and Angela? I don't know. I need to see more of them together. Like, I think it's adorable that Link is, like, following her around like a puppy. Um, she is not really into him right now at, at where we are right now in Let's Play. I think they could be good together. I do not like how Link handled the Sam situation at all. Like, Boy and I are not necessarily talking right now. But I think I need to see more of them to make that decision. I'm waiting to see who Vicky's paired with. 
let's go with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you've got questions, I'll hang out with you guys for another minute or two. I get those questions answered, but I did want to chat all about yesterday's cosplay episode of of the Toon Ladies Dog Show. Tam says she's gonna fall from. Oh yeah, no, one hundred percent. Like as an author, as an author, as a best selling author who has twenty five some novels out, all of which have been number one in my categories, and the number seven, seventy four, and eighty seven best selling book on Amazon and every book in existence, I can tell what's happening. I can see the foreshadowing, like the little things that most people are not picking up. I know exactly where these authors are going with these stories. There's like three options. It could be this one, this one, or this one. And some of them you just know. I, I can tell you exactly where most of these web comics are going. And I'm just watching them plant the little seeds along the way. It's kind of fun. Um... And I love talking world building and character development with these authors over on the podcast. So if you want to get more into the technical storytelling side, that's the place to go. Um, uh, same, the only scene I can see how people ship them is the scene where Link takes Angela out of her fear. Yeah, I no, I think they'll be really cute together. Angela's just got some stuff she has to work through. I, I, I'm a little hesitant because I don't like how he treated Sam. I don't, mm, mm, I, uh, I got things to say on this, but it's all from like an author perspective. So we'll get there. We'll get there. But I can definitely see them being adorable together. Just right now we haven't seen very much of them. So I'm kind of like uh, hesitant. I want to see a little bit more before I'm like, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the cosplay episode of Toon Ladies Talk Show last night. I know we had some technical issues. We... We went live and got kicked out immediately. It was a problem. Uh, but I do appreciate those of you that showed up and hung out with us last night. We had people in costume. I was dressed up as a character from Sub-Zero. We had a girl in full pink body paint as Persephone. We had Emma from My Deepest Secret. We had actually Sam as her gaming avatar character. Uh, so we had some interesting things going on on the Toon Ladies Talk Show last night. If you did not catch that episode, youtube.com slash Toon Ladies to check that out. I also just dropped a brand new video early today all about what happens when your favorite series goes on hiatus. What do you do? How do you cope? How do you move on? How do you keep busy? What do you do? I gave you three really great tips. Make sure you go check that one out. Um, it's a lot of fun over there. And I want to know who should I be dressing up for as cosplay? For say hey Saturday. Sorry, I was reading comments as they were coming in. Um, who should I dress up as? Let me know. Please give me lots and lots of suggestions. If you've got questions for me, now's the time. I want to get those answered for you guys. Um, and like I said, I've got some big, amazing people coming on in the next couple of weeks on the talk show. Luby Cut, who is the author of Blood Ink. We've got um, three amazing canvas authors. Jenna A. Um, Marie, no, uh... Marie Jane, who I tried to reverse her name there. Marie Jane Works, uh, the author of The Alley Cat, and Mushmello, the author of Defects, is going to be hanging out with us in two weeks. And then we've got Easter. Then we are going to be talking to Marissa and Anne, the authors of The Shadow Prophet. We're going to be hanging out with Disney animator Philo Barnhart, who created The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. And we're going to be hanging out with uh, Miranda Munt of Muted. So we've got lots of people coming up. We just hung out with Kayla Oliver on the podcast. We've got all of those authors who are on the talk show are also going to be on the podcast coming up. It's going to be pretty dang cool. Uh, Tam Sharkey is shouting out Fox Play Cosplay last night in her full pink um, body paint Persephone. It was really dang cool. Uh, the Sam game avatar was very creative, right? So fun. Um, Tam Sharkey loves these canvas authors. She hopes they get featured one day. It's, it's yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I haven't read all of them, but I have like started to kind of like check these out. I'm like, oh, this is so much fun. And so I'm kind of like being mindful of some of these authors who I think are going to be featured at some point, kind of tracking their journey. And I may or may not be working with some of these ladies behind the scenes because you guys, if you don't know, I'm actually a social media strategist. So I'm an educator. I go around the country speaking and educating on this. I've spoken at a bunch of different conventions. I, um, I teach thousands of people, entrepreneurs, how to build profitable businesses through smart social media marketing. So I'm helping some of these people, some of their marketing, and some of their storytelling stuff. 
But that's all exclusive behind the scenes. So I'm just saying that's all you're going to get out of me at this point. Um, you're really excited for Muted. I haven't read Muted yet. I have not started this one yet. She reached out to me last week, week before. So we just got her on the books for our first episode in May. Um, we're going to be scheduling her podcast episode. So again, if you have suggestions for topics, please tell me what you would like to hear on the podcast from her. Um, and then like DM me, give me the highlight reel of her series. Um, because I don't mind spoilers in this case, cause she's going to be on the show and I'll read it at some point. I'm just not going to probably get through all of it before then because I have so much I have to read guys and well also I'm an author so I'm writing books <laughs> it takes up a lot of time guys and um I I could definitely use your help I could definitely use your help but I'm excited to get her on the show it's gonna be lots of fun um oh I almost just told you something I can't tell you yet but we're working on something together and that's all I'm gonna say all I'm gonna say all right I am going to have to get going in the next couple of minutes. If you've got more questions, if you've got more comments, get them in there right now. If you've got cosplay suggestions, I do need to hear from you. If you're on my replay, please DM me. I want to hear from you, boo boo. I do. Um, and if you did not check out yesterday's cosplay episode, we did have Kelly Carnes of Trove Costumes. It's kind of like Airbnb, kind of like Rent the Runway for costumes, where you can put your old cosplay costumes up for rent. You can rent other people's costumes. It's peer-to-peer -peer costume exchanges. Um, so if you've got like conventions or photo shoots or things coming up, you can actually get like really cheap, really good, like quality costumes from people. Guys, there are even professional mermaid tails on this website. It's really cool. Sam would be a fun cosplay you could put on red makeup like her blushing. I love that idea so much. I love that idea so, so, so much. See, this is why I keep you guys around. You got all the good cosplay ideas. I love this. Um, you could cosplay someone from Edith. I have not read that one yet, but it's on, like, when I find series that I should be paying attention to, I subscribe to them. So I just have, like, this running list of things that I gotta get to. It's my TBR pile. For those of you who are not in the book world, that's to be read. TBR. Um, so I've got a TBR pile over here in the webtoon world, and dang, dang, I gotta, I gotta get on that. I gotta get on that. Um, but from what I've seen of the artwork, that sounds like a really fun idea. And I, I feel like, you know what? You know what the best thing you could do would be? If you have somebody who'd like to see me cosplay, like go into the story, snap a screenshot of it. DM it to me, tell me their name and the series that they're from, but like specifically give me their outfits because a lot of times people say, I would love to see you in this character, but I don't want to know what they look like really. And I can Google them, but you only get so many results and you don't know if it's like fan art. You don't know if it's like legit stuff. So if you could give me specific outfits, specific looks for these characters, that would be amazing. Um, so yeah, that, that would definitely help me out. Um, Edith is so good. The anxiety of their relationship is real. Oh, is she a mean author? I'm a mean author. Like, my, my, my romantic meanness is real in my books. <laughs> I'll put a, I'll put my characters together and then I'll rip them apart. It's terrible. I'll make it really hard for them to be together. Like, what, whatever you read in Webtoon, I am like 10 times more vicious, which is a lot of fun for me as an author. Tears of Readers, that's real. Um, what did, what did I, oh, okay, okay, I see, we're tagging each other. Um, that's a great idea, she could cosplay as Philip. Ooh, we're, like, on top of the gender bends, right? Right? That's so fun. I haven't done a gender bend one yet. Um, Tam Sharkey, who's here in the comments, she just did gender bend Charles from Let's Play, um, which is really cool, but I haven't tried that yet. Send me pictures, guys. Send, DM me pictures when we're done with this. Uh, the drama in Edith is intense. All right. So I, I <laughs> need to, like, bump that one up on my list. Is that what I'm hearing here? Uh, the Edith author just finished her first season. The ending was brutal. Oh, fun. <laughs> I, I know people are like, I hate cliffhangers, and I hate when people are mean to their characters, and... I'm just a vicious author who sits here like, I love this. I love it when other authors do it. If you guys have read Divergent and you've read the ending of Divergent, I was here cheering Veronica Roth on. And I told her that when I hung out with her in New York Comic Con when we were signing books there together. Did I just name drop? Yes, I did. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, send me pictures. Send me pictures of characters and their names in the series that they're from. I'll do my best to do some fun cosplays. Um, we got some makeup tips last night in our live broadcast talk show. We hung out with some fabulous people. We saw some great wigs. We had lots and lots of fun on the Toon Ladies talk show last night. Um, we've got some cool things coming up on the talk show. I dropped some names earlier. Podcast episodes are coming up from some fabulous things. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. I want the authors to be mean to me. Please make me cry and be angry. Well, ink egg. <laughs> Do you read novels? Because I, I got some for you. I'm totally pimping out my books here. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, but dang, if you want me to rip your heart out, I volunteer to do that. If you read books, let me know. I'll float you a couple. It's fun. Um, I felt bad for the freaking romance author because she was getting hate for the ending. Worked so hard on it, too. Ooh, I didn't hear that there was drama over that. I have not read that one. Um, but I didn't know there was drama over it. But you know what? I've noticed a lot. A, a lot, a lot of authors recently have come out to say that they are pushing back their new season premiere because they actually had to cope with some pretty nasty things that people were saying about the endings of their previous seasons. Um, and just as an author, as someone who has been there, who has dealt with all of that, um... If, well, first off, if you are an author and you are going through that, please come to me. I have been there. I have dealt with that. I can be here to support you. Um, as an author, I can come in, read your series, and talk about what's going on on a professional level. And we can talk about why the choices you made are valid. <laughs> we can talk about all sorts of fun things with that. So I, I'm here to support you guys on that one. But as readers, we also have to remember, we I know that we're heavily invested into the lives of these characters and the things that they're doing, but that doesn't give us the right to be mean. So if you can't say something nice, keep it to yourself. <laughs> and just maybe, like, if you're seeing negativity in the comments, please maybe just be kind to the authors. We don't need to be mean here. We're, we're all just nice and supportive. If you don't like something, that's okay. There's lots of other comics you can read. You can look somewhere else. There's lots of other things that are going on that you can be doing. We do not have to be impolite. And if you don't like something, that's okay. You are more than welcome to have your opinion. Just don't be a jerk about it. You can say things in a nice professional way. Um, and you can express that you don't care for it and it didn't fit for you without being mean about it. Just saying. Let's, let's all be kind within this community. Um, and if you loved something, even if you didn't love something, support the authors, okay? Just be nice. Be there to back them up. Um, hey, Fox Play Cosplay is here. We were just talking about you and your makeup tips last night on our cosplay episode of the Toon Ladies Talk Show. Um, Fox Play and I may be working on a special secret project for you guys. But I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. <laughs> but, but girl, I do owe you an email, so that's, that's coming. That's coming. Um, right? Her cosplay was awesome. Like, I'm super jealous of <laughs> her amazing. If you guys haven't checked out her profile yet, make sure you hit that up because, or no, wait, up here. There we go. <laughs> make sure you hit that up um, because she, she does a really good Persephone, but like for me personally, I am just floored by her mint. Like, very, very good. I think it's better than her Persephone and her Persephone is amazing. So I'm just saying you should go check out her work. She's really awesome. Okay, guys. I keep saying I'm only going to be here for another minute or two because I, I got things to do. You got things to do, but you keep coming up with the good questions. If you've got more questions, go ahead and drop those down below. Please send me screenshots, names, and series of characters I should be cosplaying for upcoming episodes. Episodes? Upcoming posts of our Say Hey Saturday conversations. Every single Saturday, I'm jumping in and dropping three questions to help me get to know you better and you get to know me better. It's lots and lots of fun to play games with you guys with Say Hey Saturday. Uh, so I want to hear from you. I do have some cool things coming for you guys. Um, and we've got really cool people coming on the Dune Ladies Dog Show in the next couple of weeks and months. I uh, the podcast and all sorts of fun, fabulous things. I am looking for reporters. I'm looking for marketers. And I am looking for content creators to volunteer their time to come work with Toon Ladies. Uh, everything on Toon Ladies is volunteer, including me. So we're doing really, really cool things. We've got some really cool opportunities. And some important people reached out to me today to do something cool. And that's all I can say about that. So if you want to see the Toon Ladies platform grow, if you want to see me unlock new features, if you want to see your favorite authors, artists, celebrities, and Toon-related people on the show or podcast or bonus episodes or Q&A, the conventions I'm working on, 
you got to help a girl out. So come hang out. TwoLadies.com slash join the team for more information. I give you all sorts of fun perks like being able to meet the authors in person, face to face, and speak to them in real time. Just you and them and me. <laughs> but it's going to be lots of fun. Um, and you guys can come hang out with me. It's going to be awesome. If you've got questions, if you've got comments, if you've got suggestions for me, I would love to hear you. Uh, hit me up down the DMs. Talk to me. I'm a very social person. I love hearing from you guys. Make sure you are liking, commenting, sharing, all those fun, fabulous things on the social media platforms. I am at Toon Ladies on Instagram and on uh, Facebook and all of those fun, fabulous platforms over on YouTube. Please leave comments on my videos. I know you guys are watching them. I keep seeing people subscribe and watch the videos, but I need more comments. The more comments you can give me, the more YouTube ranks me higher and kicks my videos out to more people, which means I'm going to make more videos. In fact, I was just thinking of upping my video content from uh, like twice a week um, while we're all in quarantine to maybe once a day to give you more cool things to be watching and interacting with. But I'm not going to do that if you're not leaving me the comment love and interacting with me over there. So go, go over to uh, uh, youtube.com slash ladies, hit that subscribe and notification bell and leave all those fun, fabulous comments and tell me what you would like to see more videos on because I am working behind the scenes with some of the authors, with some of the <clears throat> big name things I can't talk about yet, but it's happening soon, things, and I've got some really cool content coming your way, so the more you chat with me over there, the better I can do really cool things for you guys and bring on really cool authors. Like I said, if you want to see somebody on the talk show, the podcast, the special bonuses that we're doing, you have to tell them. They don't know I exist. <laughs> Some of them do. Actually, quite a few of them do. But it is hard for me to reach them because they don't have websites and they don't have email addresses publicly where I can get to them. So the authors that I've already interviewed are putting me in touch with some of them. But also we need to like get in front of this. So let people know you would like to see them on the talk show. Please feel free to tag me in things. Tag them in my post to let them know you want to see them on the show. All those fun, fabulous things. Uh, we got some really cool stuff going on. Uh, you're going to go subscribe. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Because um, I'm doing lots of really cool things for you guys. I am. And the more you leave comments and interact and like share on your Instagram stories. Like, like if you go and you watch one of my videos over on YouTube, Take a screenshot, hopefully of me not talking. Maybe the thumbnail. Thumbnails are pretty. And put it on your Instagram stories. Tell people to go watch it. Like, the more you help me, the f quicker we get this around, the higher my numbers go, and the more I can unlock new features. Like, my goal is 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and on Instagram in a month. We're kind of three weeks in at this point. We're not going there. But you can help me out. And if you do... I unlock special perks for you and special bonuses. And oh yeah, I may or may not be working on some special members only community things. And if you're one of my originals, I'm going to take care of you more than anybody else. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I am coming in full force with all the fun, fabulous stuff. You do not want to be left behind. You want to get in on the ground floor on this. So the more you hang out with me, the more you help me, the more you shout me out, the more you come work with my team the more you're going to get out of this. I'm just saying, you're early. You're early adopters. You are my early evangelists. And I will not forget that. And I have things planned for you. But I can't tell you what they are. Okay, I'm leaving now. I got some stuff I got to get done, like writing books and doing work and dropping new videos and like things. Things. I have things and meetings with authors. I'm just saying. I'm just saying I'm hanging out with like webtoon people. It's lots of fun. This is my life. Um, If you guys did not see Loopy Cut, um, on the Instagram stories, I think yesterday, we put that up. <laughs> there was a video behind the scenes of what we're working on for this week's episode, so you can actually get a sneak peek over there. Um, but we were hanging out. We, we apparently we hang out a lot and <laughs> we do some fun video things for you guys. So big things are coming. It's going to be great. I appreciate each and every one of you hanging out. Um, I will be jumping on more lives. If you would like to see more lives like this, the Q&As, the fun behind the scenes stuff, please let me know. We might make this a regular thing. Um, we might just like pick a day and time and just go live every week here on Instagram. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Uh, make sure you are going through commenting on some of my photos, the videos we're putting up, and you're headed over to YouTube as well. And Facebook, because I got some cool stuff on Facebook. It's going to be lots of fun. Um... But big things, big things are coming. And don't forget to let me know who I should cosplay in the next couple of weeks. Send me photos, send me names, send me series. It's going to be good. All right. If you guys missed the beginning of the show, I dropped all the names of the people coming on in the next two months, month, month and a half, for the show. Um, 
and the podcast and all the cool things. So make sure you go back and watch that because big people are coming on the show. Like big people. It's going to be lots of fun. I know some of you didn't get here until the end. Um, the lies are nice, right? It's fun to hang out. I do like hanging out. Actually, while you're here, I am planning on doing more lives for you guys. It's been a little busy with the quarantine stuff going on right now. But I am planning on doing more lives. I would like to get a weekly scheduled live to hang out with you guys. Would you be interested in coming on to ask me questions? Like if you hit the little button to go live with me, would you like to pop up for like two, three minutes and ask me some questions while I'm on air? Please let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I would love to get you on to kind of build up the community, have conversations. I would love to jump on and talk about some of the series that we're reading. Um, I think, what was it, last night was Sub-Zero Night. So we could like jump on and talk about Sub-Zero like... You let me know. Let me know what you want to do. It's going to be lots of fun. Um, but if you would be interested in, like, requesting to come on with me, I would love to chat with you guys in real time, face-to-face, -face, right here on Instagram Live for Toon Ladies. It's going to be lots of fun. Uh, so let me know. Is that something you would be interested in doing? Sounds fun. I'd be shy, but still down. Cool. I know. A lot of people are shy, but it's like talking to an old friend when you hang out with me. Like, I've had the most terrified people ever on my talk shows, and they volunteer to come back because it's literally just chatting. So you would be great at it. It would not be scary. I promise you could come on and chat with me. I chat with all sorts of fun people. Um, and I would love to get you guys on. So let's, let's plan this. Let's plan this. I know everybody's in lockdown right now. So let me take a look at my schedule and we will plan a time later this week for me to jump on and we'll do like a live Q and A and you guys can come and ask me questions and jump on camera or, and chat in the comments. Of course, if you're like, really don't want to come on camera, but I'll give you the opportunity to jump on with me. Uh, we can have conversations. Maybe we'll see if we can get some of the authors to come join us in real time too. Could be fun. Let me see what I can plan. It'll be good. All right, guys, I got to go. ToonLadies.com, YouTube.com slash ToonLadies, at ToonLadies on all the social media platforms. Shout me out. Tell your authors you want to see them on my show and then bring them over to meet me. It's going to be lots of fun. I got big things planned for you. We're going to have all the fun when it comes to Tune Ladies and big things are coming. Thanks so much for joining me. See you guys again next time. Until then, have a fantastic day and stay inspired. Bye, loves.